Um, just routine run play. I mean, I've done it a million times where you're just blocking a guy and you go to try to finish him and you get one last shove, one last push, and you just felt something un unnatural in your arm. Can you take us beyond today? I mean, is there an opportunity for you to come back and play this year? How long would it Yeah, I think it's too early to tell right now. Um, we'll get an MRI tomorrow and look at it and then be able to tell a little bit more what the injury was. I mean, what goes through your head in that moment? Are you just sort of in the moment? I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you kind of are in an out-of-body experience yeah. a little bit. I think you have an idea of what happened, at least. And you're trying to figure out if it's something that you can continue on with, if you can get up and keep playing. But effectively, I really didn't have any function in my left arm. And um, I think you can play about 30 or 40 percent function with your one arm. But when you have no function in one arm, it's, it's hard to block uh, edge rushers with, with only one hand. Joe, how do you look back on uh, the, you know, multiple years, never missing a snap? I'm yeah. sure it's a, it's a proud achievement for you, but yeah. what kind of perspective do you put on it? Yeah, well, uh, obviously it's difficult because it's so soon after uh, the injury, but um, definitely proud of the number of plays I was able to put together getting over that 10,000 milestone and going into my 11th season without missing a play is something that uh, I always feel like I'll be able to hang my hat on and I can have pride in. Uh, but it's a violent game, and those type of streaks, they always are going to come to an end.